Block dividers is a creative styling feature found in both the Brizzy Free and Brizzy Pro. These block dividers are applied to blocks, either at the top, bottom or both. Let's look at this side and I want to apply one of these dividers at the top and at the bottom of this block. To access the block divider options, you go to the block toolbar up here, then settings and more settings. You will see over here dividers appear. By default it's set to none and to activate it you just select one of the divider options that you can see from the drop down menu. Scroll down to make sure you see the entire selection. I'm going to select the one at the top. Immediately the divider comes in and all the options with it at the bottom. You can choose the color. We'll put it on white. And from here you can also choose the height. If you want to flip it, as simple as clicking on this button. The same goes for the bottom. Let's put a divider here at the bottom. I'm going to select the bottom this time. Remember we are working with the block at the top and I'm going to apply the same divider. But instead of using white to match the top, it will look strange when it goes from one block to the next block. So what I will do, I will match the color of this divider with the color of the next block. So I'll choose this color here. This gives you a seamless integration between the two blocks. This will look especially good if we go back up to our block, choose the background and put it on a parallax effect like this. There's one more feature to take note of within the block dividers option. Let's say we want to apply a block divider here at the bottom. Let's go to this block, settings, more settings, scroll down to where we want to apply it so we can visually see what's going on, then select the bottom one and let's use a different divider this time, something like this. I'm going to flip it and I'm going to make it white. Now I'm going to extend it all the way up. But let's say for some reason I didn't want it to be in the background. I want it to come to the foreground. In this case, you simply click here on the arrangement option and it will bring it to the foreground. Of course, now it will block out this image, but that gives you the idea of what it will do. This may be useful where you want to achieve an effect something like this. In this case though, I really think these rings look very good on the foreground with this block divider. For more tutorials on Brizzy, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also join the conversation at Facebook and then visit us at brizzy.io.